Hi everyone, thanks for joining us today for our college visit series. We're very excited to have Johnson and Wales University with us today and admissions rep Marissa Marcy will be here joining us, telling us about their campus and all the wonderful programs that they have to offer. Thank you for joining us today, Marissa. Thank you, Hanover County. I'm so thrilled to be here. Again, my name is Marisa Marcy. I'm an admissions rep for Johnson and Wales University. And I actually live in Virginia. So I am your regional rep. I live in Virginia Beach, so I'm not too far from y'all. And I love Johnson and Wales. Um, it's a very different college than other schools. Uh, we're very different. We're very much about learning by doing. And I find that you'll never be bored at Johnson and Wales because we are so hands-on. In fact, our classrooms don't look like your typical college classrooms. They're learning labs. And I should tell you, we have two locations. We were founded up in Providence, Rhode Island, up in the northeastern part of the US way back in 1914. And as you can see, here are just a few of the learning labs there. None of those huge lecture halls that you tend to fall asleep in or that you need a microphone to ask the professor a question. Very hands on. So that's our Providence campus. And we have a campus in Charlotte, North Carolina. So again, two great locations. And what's cool with Johnson and Wales, you could even go one or two years to one location and then do your junior and senior year at another um, because it's it's all one university it's just that it's two locations um, and again more learning labs here um, on this slide you can see that's our fashion merchandising lab up there um, down below is our um, garden that our culinary arts students are growing um, a beverage appreciation class again that our culinary and food and beverage management students take so again very very hands-on all of your classes are small um, 18 to 1 is the typical uh, faculty, uh, student faculty ratio. And I do have to say, our faculty at Johnson and Wales are phenomenal. All of them have a lot of industry experience, having done what they're teaching, and they're really good teachers too. They, they really become your mentors. And because the class sizes are small, they really get to know you, you get to know them, um, and they, they really introduce the world of whatever field you're, you're studying from them to you. Um, another difference with Johnson and Wales, and this one really gets me most excited, you will start taking classes in your major in your freshman year at Johnson and Wales. And that's different than most universities. Typically, your first two years at most colleges are what they call your general education classes. College math, college English, um, all wonderful subjects, but it's what everyone takes no matter what they wanna pursue for their major. But I love it at Johnson and Wales, they said, well, that's really silly. Um, if somebody wants fashion or baking and pastry or biology or sports management or whatever, why make them wait two years to get into what they really want to do. Let's get them into it right away. So I think we tend to have happier students because you know, you're not going to choose marketing for your major unless you're really excited about that. Um, you're not going to choose culinary arts for your major unless that really jazzes you. So right off the bat, you're going to be in classes that you enjoy. Now, of course, it is a fully accredited university, so you still have to take those general education classes. But instead of being front loaded, they're interwoven throughout. And the cool thing about that is then you start to see why they're relevant. So it's a really neat holistic education. Um, oh, again, I mentioned two campuses, Providence, Rhode Island. Providence is the capital of Rhode Island. So it's a very happening place to be. They actually call it College Town USA because there are more college students in Providence per capita than any other US city. Um, because Johnson and Wales is there, Brown, Providence College, a lot of colleges clustered near each other. So it's a really fun place to be a student. A lot of youthful energy and fresh, fresh ideas, um, lots of opportunities as well. And um, this is just a, a breakdown. We have a beautiful diversity at both locations. Um, both campuses are very welcoming, very inclusive. Charlotte is our newest campus. Um, so we opened Providence way back in 1914. So Johnson and Wales has been around for a long time, long history, long legacy. We opened our Charlotte, North Carolina campus um, in 2004. So that actually has um, some history now as well too. Charlotte, if you haven't been there, is a very exciting city. Um, it's the second largest financial district in the country. So anyone who's thinking about finance, 
it's business, uh, marketing. It's a great place to be because so many major banks are based there. A lot of Fortune 500 companies, the biggest companies in the world have a presence there and they're all right at your doorstep. Um, again, very diverse, um, both campuses. In fact, we have students from all 50 states and more than 78 foreign countries. So again, you're going to find students of every size, shape, color, background. And we think that diversity really, um, it really amplifies your education too. You learn a lot from each other. Um, Let's see, we have over 50 different majors, um, everything from the world of business like finance and accounting and marketing to culinary arts, baking and pastry arts. One of our newest majors there is called food innovation and technology. Uh, we have hospitality, travel tourism, hotel management, sports entertainment, event management. We also have a college of health and wellness with biology, health science, public health, uh, a school of engineering and design if you're into computer science and robotics, things like that. Um, but again, over 50 different majors. And um, this is what I think, uh, I, actually I love this slide, this gets me excited too. Um, at Johnson and Wales, across the board with all of our majors, we have a 97.7% career outcomes rate. And what that means is that when they graduate, almost all of our students are doing what they want to do. And that's whether it's launching their careers or going on to graduate school. Um, a lot of our students might go on to law school, medical school, and we do have graduate programs. So after you get your four year bachelor's degree at Johnson and Wales, if you do want to go on for maybe your MBA, your master's in business, and we actually have an accelerated program for your MBA, also an accelerated program for law school, um, where you can actually save a year getting your undergraduate and your law school degree or your MBA degree. And we also have a really outstanding PA program for graduate uh, physician assistant program. But anyway, um, again, it just goes to show you that uh, the Johnson and Wales education really does work. And part of how we get that really astounding outcomes rate our internship program is phenomenal. And of course, internship, that's where for a semester, instead of going to class, you're going to a real world employer. And we have over 1500 internship sites. We have them near our campuses. We have them back in Virginia, in the Richmond area. We have them um, all over the country and also international as well, if that interests you. Um, What's really neat, um, with an internship, uh, half of our internships pay. Uh, of course, even if you don't have a paying internship, you're getting such valuable experience, you're networking, you're, you're meeting the movers and shakers in the field you wanna go into. And it's kind of like that old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. That's what internships do. They, they open the door, they, they make those introductions so you can get your foot in the door. And because of our curriculum where you start taking classes in your major early on, you can actually do an internship as early as your sophomore year. And a lot of our students might even do two internships, one sophomore year and one senior year. But the other thing with Johnson & Wales, even when you're a freshman, you're going to start going to our on-campus employer visits. We have these uh, big career events where, as a freshman, you're going to start meeting the leaders of whether it's the business world or the culinary world or the engineering world um, or health sciences, whatever major you want to go into, you're going to start making those connections right off the bat. Um, this is just some quick examples. This is one of our students. Um, she majored in advertising. She did her internship with this really high-powered PR firm in New York City. She worked on um, some of her accounts for like really major league stuff like American Express. Here's another student. He double majored, which is something else you can do. You can do two majors. You can major in minor or do a concentration. But he combined criminal justice and media and communication studies. And he interned with this um, film where he made videos um, about the criminal justice system. So he combined both of his majors in one. Um, oh, uh, this student worked with a, a large tourism management uh, firm. And the cool thing is if you're a tourism major, well, we have international experiences for all of our students, but our tourism majors actually, as part of their class, also do an international tour. One of our culinary students went right to the source to the small family organic farm. So again, that's just a few examples. But if doing internet, going international interests you, we have a really robust study abroad program. Every single major has international experiences connected to it. Um, in fact, we cover every continent except Antarctica. 
And here's just a couple examples. The student on the uh, on one side there is in Barcelona, Spain. The other student is in Costa Rica. Um, and these are just some of our newest majors. Uh, one of the ones that's to, uh, like exercise science, economics, sustainable food systems, cannabis entrepreneurship. Um, a lot of times students laugh when they see this, but uh, it's really big business. That's just our Providence campus because of the um, legality up there. But it's going to be an $80 billion business, um, cannabis entrepreneurship. And it is a very rigorous program, very serious. So um, very cutting edge, though. Johnson & Wales really is a leader. And always, every time we offer a new major, it's always reviewed carefully to make sure, can our students graduate? And will they have career growth opportunities in that field. And to that end, um, a lot of people know us for our culinary arts major, which I have to say is really good. By the way, no matter what you major in at Johnson & Wales, you will eat very well. Um, the food in our dining halls is phenomenal because um, one of our colleges is culinary arts and, and we are one of the world's foremost food service educators. But you know, it's not just cooking. It's that, that encompasses if you're a culinary major, everything from the creativity, um, nutrition, dietetics, sustainable food systems, and with our newest major, food innovation and technology, again, very cutting edge. They're working on uh, what kind of food are the astronauts taking up to the space station and things like that, as well as food as part of our culture. Um, again, students from all across the world. And, you know, sometimes you learn just as much outside of class as you do in class. So we have so many clubs, student activities, fraternities, sororities. Bottom line, you can do as much or as little as you want, but you will never be bored at Johnson and Wales. Um, we have beautiful dorms at both locations. And in fact, we do require freshmen and sophomores to live on campus. After that, it's your choice. You can live on or off, but the dorms are beautiful. You actually get to pick your room and your roommate. Um, and we even have some pet friendly dorms, which is cool. Um, oh, these are clubs that we have, but if you belong to any of these clubs in high school, and I know in Hanover County, a lot of these are very strong, like DECA, FBLA, FCCLA, Skills USA, HOSA. If ever you've been a member, be sure to indicate that on your application. Right on our application, we ask that. And even if you're not a member your senior year when you were applying, you know, even if you belong just freshman year, still mark that you belonged one year. As long as you're accepted for admission, you'll get a renewable scholarship. Um, we find that students who belong to those clubs just tend to be a little bit more professional minded, a little bit more mature than your average high school student. And, and because of Johnson and Wales, because the way we are so career focused with your education, um, it just seems that students in those groups tend to really fit in well with us. Um, oh, and we are the Wildcats for our, and by the way, we had it way before Disney's High School Musical did. We've been the Wildcats since 1914, um, but we do have uh, great athletics, everything from club sports to uh, NCAA D3. Um, but this is a list, this shows you um, our sports in Charlotte and, well, Rhode Island for the RI, NC, North Carolina for Charlotte. And um, again, very robust, but it's everything, whether you wanna play competitively, or we also have just, you know, club games and pickup games and things like that. Um, but if you wanna take a shot of this, if you are interested in getting recruited, this is um, these are the sites to go to for that. Now, financial aid, of course, that's a huge part of the puzzle when it comes to going to college. 94% of our students receive financial aid. And for us to apply for financial aid with Johnson & Wales, it's very simple. Just by applying to Johnson & Wales, set, you, you send in your application and your transcripts. And if you're accepted, you will find out in your decision letter if you've earned any merit-based scholarships, that would be based on your good academics, or national student organization scholarships. Uh, and again, those would be DECA, FBLA, FCCLA, SkillsUSA, HOSA, things like that. Um, also, you probably have all know about when you're a senior starting October 1st of your senior year, you will want to do your FAFSA, FAFSA, your free application for federal student aid. Just list Johnson & Wales in the school section. And that's our ID number there for the FAFSA, 003404. And that's our FAFSA code for both Providence and Charlotte. When you're on the FAFSA website, 
you'll only see Providence listed because that's our oldest. But even if you want to go to Charlotte, that's the number to list. So it's one code for both campuses. It only lists Providence, but that's okay, even if you're going to Charlotte. Um, but that's all you have to do um, in, in order to be eligible for financial aid with Johnson and Wales. And again, that's our, our code number for both campuses. These are just other really good outside scholarship resources. Um, and even if you're an underclassman, it's not too early to start going to these sites like fastweb.com. They're free scholarship search sites. And this is how you can locate scholarships um, that you can use at, at any college in the country. This isn't Johnson & Wales specific, but I urge you to go as early as possible. Um, obviously, if you're a senior, you want to be on there now. Juniors, get onto it because they're gonna start having deadlines in your senior year. So you don't wanna miss out on anything that you're eligible for. And of course, we'd love for you to visit. Um, even with COVID-19 going on right now, we are open for in-person tours. Um, you do need to reserve. Now, if you wanna take a screenshot of this, um, because if you are, if you do want to do an in-person visit at either Providence or Charlotte, you do need to make a reservation. You can't just drop in unexpectedly, um, but you can reserve here. And this is also where you can reserve. We have great virtual tours, a lot of experiences. And again, this is just another site you can go to to schedule an in-person or a virtual tour. We have a lot of other cool virtual events to do. We have college nights where you can speak with faculty members, in a specific major, as well as currently enrolled students. Um, if you're into culinary, we have cook-alongs, we have financial planning sessions, but again, go to these sites and you can register right online for any of them. And when it comes to applying, it's really easy. It's free to apply to Johnson & Wales. We never charge an application fee and we're on the Common App, or we also have our own online app. So just in case you've maxed out your common app choices and you want to apply on the next screen, I'll, I'll show you our uh, site to go to to apply. And of course, we even still have a traditional paper app, but most people do it online now. All you need to do is that. And I do have to say, it's a very, very straightforward, simple application. There isn't even an essay question. Although if you would like, you're welcome to submit a personal statement or an essay. Um, and then just make sure that you send us your transcripts only apply to one campus. Even if you're not sure, make sure that your application and your transcripts just go to one campus. If all goes well and you're accepted though, and then you change your mind and you'd rather go to the other location, just let us know. But if you're accepted, you're accepted across the board. Um, as far as SATs and ACTs go, we always encourage students to take them. Now we know again, this year with the pandemic, a lot of seniors, unfortunately, weren't able to take the tests. Um, the good news is, at Johnson & Wales, we've always been test optional. So if you haven't taken them, that's okay. Um, and again, underclassmen, sophomores, juniors, you don't need to take them to be accepted to Johnson & Wales. But again, it can't hurt you. With Johnson & Wales, your standardized test score can only help you, it can't hurt you. The reason why we don't require them, we've just found that they're, with, with Johnson & Wales, because we are so hands-on, learning by doing, experiential, the standardized tests for us aren't always the best indicator of how successful someone will be. However, a lot of colleges, of course, require them. With us, your score can only help you, it can't hurt you. If you submit it, and you've done well, that's great. That might be an avenue to more scholarships. But if you didn't do so well, but you have a solid GPA, we just won't look at it. And as far as GPAs go, I don't like to give one hard and fast number. Typically, I would say if you're about a C plus average or higher, that's probably a good ballpark. Of course, the higher, the better. Um, but since it's free to apply, I always say apply, send in your transcripts and um, don't, don't ever close the door on yourself. Don't you decide. It'll be up to our director of admissions. Um, we do have an early action deadline. That's November 1st. It's non-binding. It just means that if you submit your application and your transcripts by November 1st, you'll be in the first wave of decisions to go out. Now for you seniors who haven't applied yet, don't worry, there's still time. Our regular admissions deadline is March 1st. Um, also, we do have transfer credits. If anybody is in dual enrolled, taking AP classes, if you score three or higher on your AP exam, you'll get college credit for that and you won't need to take it with us. Oh, and this is um, apply.jwu.edu. That's the site for, um, if you wanna go directly to uh, our free application, apply.jwu.edu.
And of course, we're on social media. So um, check us out on all the platforms there. In fact, our students have made a lot of really cool um, YouTube videos and things like that. And if you do want to get more information, you can text Wildcats to 75192. Again, or you can, um, I'm not sure if it'll work in this program. I, you can also, um, our QR code is there too. Again, I'm not sure with the way we're recording this, if that'll work. So um, if not, just text Wildcats to 75192. And again, we're on YouTube here. And that's who we are. Um, I'm going to stop sharing now. And I'm wondering if, um, in case, uh, again, my name's Marisa. Uh, well, if I type something in the chat, I wanted to put my contact info in the chat screen. And just in case, um, your wonderful counselors, who, by the way, you're very fortunate to have Ms. Corbin and Ms. Edwards and Ms. Callahan and all your counselors in your corner. They've done a great job of reaching out to colleges to connect with you. And I'm just going to type in my phone number and my email address. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, that's what I'm here for. If you have any Johnson & Wales questions at all, um, it would be my pleasure to serve you. We've had a lot of really good students from Hanover County come to become Johnson & Wales Wildcats, and so it really would be my privilege to assist you. And I want to thank you all very much for having me here today. Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. We really thank appreciate you. it, and we'll post that information your contact information when we're sending out the video as well. So all of our students oh, will have that. Super. I, thank, thank you, you so much. much. I appreciate it. Again, don't hesitate to contact me if ever I can be of service. We will. Thank you, Miss Mar Miss Mar Thanks. We really appreciate it. My pleasure. Stay well. You too. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Take care.